start off with the easy bit. I'm going to boil up the gnocchi. So it takes two minutes. I'm just going to put it in the pot. Salt it. And then add boiling water. Boil it for two minutes. Drain it and leave it to sit to the side. And just as a wee hint to the gnocchi, you know they're ready. See when they start floating? Oh, this will start floating up. That means they're ready. Woohoo! Next we're gonna get on to prepping the veggies. So I want you to get your onion, your half pack of mushrooms and your little bit of chili. Chop that up finely and add it into a pan. Add your oil and start to soften that over a medium to high heat. Whilst your veggies start to soften, looking for you to cut up your garlic and your sun-dried tomatoes as well. Once the veggies have softened, add your garlic and soften that for another two minutes. You've already got your sun-dried tomatoes chopped, so I also want you to get a wee handful of parsley and roughly chop that as well. Once your garlic's been frying off for a wee minute or two, I want you to add your chopped sun-dried tomato, your chopped parsley, pesto. I got this pesto from George Muse. George says that apparently Leonardo DiCaprio is a huge fan of this one. So two tablespoons of that. I'm just going to put the rest of that in because there is literally some dregs. And then to that, we're going to add your carton of passata. Now I like to rinse out my passata carton just with a little bit of water. And then what we're going to do is turn it up to medium to high heat. Get yourself a lid and once we've stirred it to combine, we're going to put the lid on and simmer that for about 10-15 minutes. So I just swapped that because it had just started to stick, so that only needed 10 minutes. Uh, it depends how high obviously heat you have your hob, so just make sure to keep an eye on it and stir it occasionally. So we've got to here, we're going to add in the soft cheese, the double cream and the parmesan right now. And all we do, once you've added your cream cheese, your cream and your parmesan, is we're just gonna simmer it in a low heat for another few minutes. Look how rich and beautiful that sauce looks. Yum, yum, yum. Whilst that's simmering, I'm getting my slice, sorry, my ball of fresh mozzarella and I'm just going to slice that because this is what we're going to lay on top. I'm also going to use a cast iron. If you don't have a cast iron, just use a casserole dish for baking it in the oven for this nice melty top. So I've got my gnocchi in a dish here and I am going to spoon in the sauce just because I have made quite a lot for the amount of gnocchi I have. So you don't want to totally have the ratio knocked off. So I'm just going to spoon in some sauce, mix it through and then add it to my cast iron and then get my toppings on. Now I've added a little bit more than what I would if I was just eating it straight because when you oven bake it, it will dry it out slightly so you do want there to be in a little bit of excess liquid. And then we're going to put it in the cast iron, top it with mozzarella and put it in that oven that is preheated to 200 to get nice and melty. So that's it melted, so that's been about 10-15 minutes and I'm just going to put the grill function on now and colour the top. 